It's Sandra, welcome back to the channel. So guys, this is a video that I've wanted to do for a long time and it's free and low cost things to do if you're a person with a disability. So obviously disability comes in all shapes and sizes. People with a disability might work, they might attend a day centre, might attend a social group. But then there's, you have to consider that majority of people with a disability are on some sort of government income as well. So that might be pension, that might be JobKeeper, it might be called something different in your parts of the world. So the first one is obvious is each day going exploring your parks and gardens. Toowoomba is actually known as the Garden City. There's lots of parks and gardens and quite recently, until quite recently, we had a mayor who was very disability aware. He realised how inaccessible Toowoomba was when his wife was deteriorating and was reliant on a wheelchair or mobility scooter as well and how biased the NDIS was to younger people as well so that's the first one is exploring parks and gardens in your area so if you're on the coast it might be exploring different parts of the coast different swimming holes that are free as well um going swimming going fishing exploring the creeks as well there might be bike tracks in your local area as well and there's nothing stopping you from documenting your travels and starting a youtube a blog a podcast about it as well that might turn into a bit of income though that is a long-term strategy as well then the next one is checking out local art galleries so generally if they're a private one they might be a bit more pushy but there's a lot that are put on by the council then the other one is checking out um, your local libraries whether that be uni whether that be private whether that be put on by the council as well and they often have more than just the books they often have young mums programs um, chess clubs library programs and then the other one that people with disability often forget about is volunteering um, I know that's not for everyone that might be volunteering at like a op shop like Lifeline St Vincent de Paul or for the Americans that might be like a goodwill type shador it might be visiting the local nursing home as well it might be volunteering at the local child care centre might be covering books at the local state school with contact whatever your skill set is as well so then another one and this might require a bit of cost as well is attending the local craft group but then often they have like a collective where you can actually sell those things as well and the other one that I've started doing recently is bushwalking as well and then there are some that generally have a little bit of a cost to them is people watching in the local shopping centre I do know that some disability providers do actually frown on that of just aimlessly wandering through the shopping centre it might be going plane watching or train spotting it might also be painting those trains or photographing them and guys just a word of warning always get consent to do that one as well um, it might be volunteering at your local historical museum there is a world out there and it just takes some googling as well so and also checking out your local social groups so checking out your local community center might have like craft groups they might have internet awareness they might have a creative writing they might have study groups there's another big one if you've got like unlimited internet is online study or getting together a study group um a genuine study group not one that's 
focused on more the socialization it also might be going to your local pool and swimming as well so just depending on your level of disability and fatigue and level of mobility there's a lot that you can be doing as well and so guys I am experimenting with a couple of different video formats so drop it in the comments what you guys like do you like the talking head do you like the day in my life the vlogging style videos do you like the ones with guests on more so than anything else so guys if I've earned your subscription please if you can like share subscribe comment it really does help the channel and also I have started the podcast for members only and patreons so guys if you want to go and check that out that's got a lot of behind the scenes as well and those who know know reference to the almighty poop knife so guys i'll see you guys in the next video